All right, guys, what's up? So we got some great stuff going on here today. And I just basically I just need to catch up with a whole bunch of different things because, well, all this stuff keeps coming in. And I'm just like, how am I going to do a video on this and a video on this and a video on this? Let's all do it together. You know what I'm saying? Just bring it all together. Consolidation. And that is the key to making this stuff work out. And, uh, you know, it's just just you know just uh it makes things a little bit easier a little bit more organized so let's uh let's kind of go through some of the stuff we got going on here today so first off we have these wonderful little canvas boards so little canvas boards but what makes them extra special is they have graphics on them ready to go to put your artwork whatever it is that you desire right here on them in fact i have a i have one i'm working on right now actually a little gr a little gr action and i was doing a ming for uh, Ming the Merciless and uh, from the Flash Gordon comic books uh, from the 80s. Uh, There's a few different iterations of them. The ones that I remember were from the 80s comic books. Um, you remember those? Kids used to read them. They're pretty cool. Uh, I think they're called movies now, blockbusters. <laughs> Whatever. I think some people still read comic books. Maybe like 10 people. But um, I know it's unfortunate graphic novels though there, there's a thing anyways enough of my rants uh, let's talk a little bit about these canvas boards so these are um, do I have the dimensions on this thing let me see let me see if I have one of the dimensions on it I don't know the dimensions uh, oh here we go here we go okay so these are 8 by 16 inch canvas boards with either a panel van uh, a box car or a box truck, as you can see here. Uh, they are also 20.32 centimeters by 40.64 centimeters. All right, guys, let's do one more hit off and then we will get going here. This order is for splits. The homie splits. 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 I think this is how he spells it. I hope that's how he spells it. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. It better be. I've been I've been known to misspell a name. Oh yes, I have. Oh, let's do a little gr on this here. Boom. If I start misspelling gr, uh, then then you got to put me in the retirement home. This is a limited edition can right here. Who's the artist? This is a. Am I just supposed to know who the artist is? I, I know I'm really bad at this stuff. Lunk, Lunky. God forbid. This is dope. Old school graffiti style. Very Von Bode. I don't know who it is though. <laughs> Vizzy. See, I can read that. I can clearly read that one. I've seen this one before. There's a beautiful design too. They're both beautiful. They both really are. They both are works of art in each of their own. You know, this is not something that you would, you would want to use. You, you put it on your shelf, you know, you collect it. Man, I really like that letter font right there. Oh, it's gorgeous. Who is this? Lunk? Someone's gonna quote, what the heck, Green Ranger? What? You can't, you don't know who every single writer in the world is? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I can't. And honestly, I don't even keep up anymore. I just can't even keep up. Basically, I, I only follow Cosmic, Cosmic Ghetto, um, Bates, um, Cantu, and like all the old school New York writers. And then like a bunch of random young kid tagger kids that you guys probably never heard of, but they're like my favorite people in my feed. Cause they're getting up, you know, young, young writers doing their thing. And uh, I gotta say, some of them are pretty damn good. <laughs> they really are. Uh, all right, let's take a look at what else is in his order here. We got some hobo markers. We got some silver streakers, some pink soul tip paint. Oh yeah, the hit and go marker. I like these. Uh, as I always say, they're, they're hit it from the back of bowl. Check that out. Got a couple cat eyes in there. And go play marbles with your boys. Do kids even play marbles in these? I, they don't play marbles. They, don't. they play Fortnite. <laughs> you bring some kids some marbles, you'd be like, all right, do you have Fortnite? <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. It makes me so sad that kids don't play marbles. Anyways, let's, let's get cracking on this. <laughs> kids need to be playing marbles. They need to be on freaking roller skates. I went to the roller rink with my wife. You know, I did. I went to the roller rink with my wife. And uh, cause it was her birthday and she's like, oh, I want to go roller skating for my birthday. And I was like, yo, let's do that. Let's, let's go roller skating on your birthday. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm into it. Like that sounds hella tight. I haven't roller skated in years, like probably more, more than 20 years, more than 20 years. But you know, when I was a kid, you know, we, we, we just basically, we get up in the morning, 
we watch some like morning cartoons and uh, we grab our skateboard, our, our roller skates, our BMX bike, whatever it is, whatever we wanted to do at that time, because we, we did everything, you know, we weren't like one thing or another. We just jumped on that bad boy and we went out the door. We were out the door all day long. As soon as the sun comes down, then, then we come home. You know, we didn't eat all day. We didn't eat hardly anything. Maybe some now and laters. We were just out playing all day long. I feel like kids don't do that anymore. All this helicopter parenting, just all this, you, you got, <laughs> I mean, I broke bones, I fell out of trees, bullies beat me up, I got in fights, you know, I skinned my knees, you know, but that, I learned how to negotiate my way through the world. You know, that's how you learn how to negotiate your path, is when you're a young kid, that stuff's very crucial. You know, so if you're not doing that, you're, you're, you're missing out on a very fundamental part of your development, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I just worry that about kids. Oh. I'm on another tangent, but the reason why I'm talking about this is, um, so we went roller skating, right? You know, and, and you know, it's like a mix of adults and kids and it's all good, but I couldn't believe how many kids did not know how to roller skate. I mean, when I was like five years old, I had a pair of like crappy roller skates from, uh, freaking, <laughs> I had a pair of roller skates from like Kmart, you know what I mean? Like some Veriflex roller skates, and and I rocked them, man. I I could skate backwards, uh, I could dance on them, I could do the one foot jive. I mean, I did all kinds of stuff, you know. And 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 I went to this roller rink with my wife, and I saw all these kids, like 10, 11, 12 years old, like they, it's like they were skating on blocks of wood, like they did not even know how to function on these things. They're falling on their butts. And it was kind of funny because you know when you see someone on roller skates, it's kind of funny when they fall. But it just made me kind of bummed. It was like, how do these kids not know how to skate? It's like a fundamental aspect of childhood. I'll tell you what, man, my kids, I would, I would not, no. <laughs> sorry, sorry, homie. Oh, you want to play Fortnite? No, I'm locking the door and you're not coming back in until sundown. I don't want to come inside. Nope, nope, you're not coming in, sorry. <laughs> you're not allowed in this house until sundown. <laughs> I'm like the opposite, I'm like the opposite. Like, go figure out figure out your way in the world, Sonny. Figure it out. Uh, anyways, so what am I doing? Oh, hey, we're talking about these things. See, you, I get on these tangents because it's just like, what else am I going to do, right? Um, anyways, so I'm using a uh, iron-like fluid. We just got these in, and I'm pretty pumped on them because they're a good size amount of ink. You know, it's acrylic water-based. It's like their version of One For All. The packaging is it's not quite as good. I mean, the design is amazing. The, the design aspect of it looks really, really good. But these little uh, shrink labels, they kind of just fall off, which is, eh, it's a little bit crunchy. Uh, but I've been enjoying using them. I mean, it, it lays down really, really clean. It dries fairly quickly. I'm running this through a Art Primo. Is this a hit and go? The two millimeter marker lays down a really nice line. Uh, you know, the more I use these markers, I still got to say, I still think the Molotov 111 style is a better marker. I just think it's a better marker. It really is. You know, I like these, they work really good, but the thing is, is just the nib that these come with is far and superior to the one that we have. I'll have to admit it, the Molotov nib is better, but um, you should be able to change this nib for this one. Because I do like the body of this marker, you know what I'm saying? Like it's very thin, feels really nice in the hand, you know, it's very, 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 it's svelte, I guess you could say. But the nib is, it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. But the Molotov, you know, what can you say? Molotov marker is better. It is. It really is. Nevertheless, it does carry the ink really nicely. I do enjoy using it. And uh, I got to say, we got these right now. It's like a special buy. I think they're only like $3.95 a bottle. And that's for 45 millimeters, milliliters of acrylic ink. This is 30 milliliters acrylic ink. And I think these are what, like seven bucks right now. And I will say the quality of this is still it still edges this out a little bit, but this is still very good for what it is. It's very, very good. And even if it was the same price, it'd still be a better value because you're getting 15 milliliters more ink in this than in this. Now, with that said, there's some colors I prefer in the Molotov line, vice versa. It's, you know, it's just one of those things. You just kind of use everything because you're an artist. Use everything, use everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I did figure out one kind of cool thing is um, I like these squeeze bottle styles. It looks kind of like the crink style, right? But it's not. It actually takes a seven millimeter nib. Do you see that right there? Look at that. Let me see if I can get the camera lined up right. There we go. It takes a seven millimeter nib, but it doesn't fit stock. I have to do some modifications to get it in there and I'll do a future video on that so you guys can check that out. Um, 
But what I was doing is just basically modifying this so I can put the nib on, using a little bit of JB Weld to glue this all together. And uh, I made a mop out of it. And, and I really like the line quality. I think I think the line quality of these seven millimeter nibs, it's a, uh, you know, it's a little bit different than, uh, for example, here, let me do a side by side. So this is a more typical AP two ounce squeezer nib. See, this is 11 millimeter versus seven. So it's noticeably smaller. It's very, very cool. You know, I just like, I like, you know, it just kind of stands out, you know, a little bit skinnier. I like skinny. I like skinny sometimes. But anyways, so I'm enjoying using the fluid. It's right now on the site. I think it's only like $3.95 a bottle. And we got all these colors. Look at this. There's some, actually, this isn't even all the colors that we got. We got a bunch of colors in stock right now. But a lot of the very popular shades like uh, Soviet, uh, Sublime. Yeah, I kind of messed it. I had the cap off. I don't even ask. I messed that. I had the cap off. <laughs> Start shaking it with the cap off because I wasn't paying attention. Um, but this is Sublime Green. Uh, what is this? This is uh, Frazetta. Oh yeah, this is a really, really nice shade here. And actually, I put the Frazetta. <clears throat> I put the Frazetta in uh, an AP Hit and Go. And this is the one that's. Uh, what is this? Oh golly, golly! What is this? This is the eight. Is this the eight by four? Yes, this is the eight by four nib. And I really like that this nib. Check this out. Like a perfect oh make sure you prime it silly don't forget don't forget to shake your cans and don't forget to prime your nibs right you know what i'm saying check this out look at that isn't that beautiful it's a perfect perfect line width and this is actually what i've been using a lot to hit off boxes with i had some uh some um some on the run flow tint paint a little bit i had some on the run flow pen paint and this one right here been rocking it together like that. And this is great for hitting off boxes. Creative outlet, if you will, looks pretty good. But anyways, let's let's get back to what we were doing here. So anyways, the canvases, I really enjoy using them. They come in a variety of colors, not colors, designs. You know what I mean. <laughs> they come in a variety of designs and I'm, I'm really happy with them. We got them on the site. They're only five bucks. This is five bucks, dude. Can you believe that? You can make a piece of art for someone. You can uh, you can like fle fleece out your room. You know, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. $5, $5. Even if you don't even wanna draw on them, if you just wanna like do like some like hipster minimalist thing, you could just put it on your wall like that, but why not draw on it? You know what I'm saying? Why not draw on it? Let's, uh, let's see, I'm just using the iron like on this. Why don't we switch it up? Okay, let's see what we got here. Ah, deco color, deco. Now deco colors, these are oil-based markers, uh, like an enamel type paint. And uh, the reason why I kind of like using these is the enamel doesn't really, doesn't really react with the water-based paints. You know what I mean? It doesn't cause a reaction. So it's good when you want to do like a cutback on your lines, you're not going to have too many problems. You're not going to have a bad time, if you will. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go ahead and fill this in right here. There we go. We have these on the site. I think they're like $2.89 a, a marker, per marker. But we do have these in a, uh, a four, or no, sorry, a six pack for like 14 bucks. And you basically get a marker free, like almost a whole marker for free if you go that route. And I, I'd recommend that. And that, that's actually one of those things where someone's like, yo, I only got 20 bucks to spend. And I need to get some like paint pens. Get the deco set, definitely get the deco set. Now it does have its drawbacks. Um, you can't get refill inks for Deco. They're, as far as I know, they're not available. I did see on their site replacement nibs, uh, but I've never seen them in a retail environment and I've never seen them available for wholesale. So not exactly sure what the story is about that. Uh, maybe they're only available in Japan or something like that. You can get re replacement nibs. So there is that to consider. Um, if you're ever using Deco colors, they're, they're a great marker. But like I said, they got some drawbacks because you can't refill them. Uh, nibs are not easily available. And uh, well, the paint itself, while nice, well, well, you can see it covers really good. This is the uh, light green. It covers very, very nice. And these, like I said, again, still one of my favorite markers. Um, it can be a little bit troublesome at times. Sometimes the deco paint just doesn't want to dry. Um, you know, even if you shake the hell out of it, it just sometimes just doesn't want to dry. And it's, it can be very frustrating if you're working on something because you're waiting for it to dry and you can't do the next layer until that layer dries, you know what I mean? And that, that's kind of like the deal with these oil-based enamels. Like sometimes they just take forever to dry. And, and you know, I've used, uh, 
you know, I've used air on them before, and, and while this, uh, oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> this, this thing is very, uh, looks like some kind of toy. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> It's All right, dope. We went ahead and got it filled in, and I just wanted to quickly do a little little outer outer here, just to get a little outer outer action going. There's a Molotov one for all right here. One of my favorite markers. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Look how it lays the line down. She's a thing of beauty. She is. Yes, she is. She really is. Look at that. Oh yeah. Boom. Boom. I hope I'm getting nice and close with this. I can't I can't see my, my monitor, so hopefully I'm not cutting it off here. And hopefully you're getting that nice close-up action. Let me try this angle right here. Let me see if that works. Nice. It's a little harder to see this though. That is true. But I'm doing it for the camera angle. Ay, 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 look at that. Look at my hand right here. <sighs> so this, this is why I usually work from right to left. Someone was asking me about that recently, and it's like, you know, I'm left-handed, and um, I live in a right-handed person's world, you know? I guess it's, it's one of my oppressions, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Living in a right-handed person's world. Um, What's going on here? I think that's supposed to be filled in, isn't it? That's, what's this? I think I thought that was my line. Let me see here. Okay, there we go. All right, that's good enough. You know, I think it's supposed to be a shadow, but I'm just gonna, boom, screw it. Do it. Yeah, that looks better. Uh, anyways, let's see. Let's put a couple little, little, little dots here. There we go, there we go. This head cam thing is, uh, gotta get used to it. It's kind of weird, because you got this, like, thing in your peripheral vision at all times. It's like, all I see is, like, this block of thing in front of my head. It's, like, triggering my, uh, my OCD. <laughs> Triggered me. <laughs> all right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and let that dry. I think I'm gonna come back with the black and just kind of clean up that line a little bit. I was kind of at a weird angle to see it, so it's a little bit off, but... It's close enough for government work. It's close enough. And uh, I think it gave us an opportunity to see how this works. As you can see, you can rock your oil-based markers, your water-based markers. Um, I don't know if you want to rock graphic markers, but you can try it. You know, like your alcohol, your alcohol blenders and stuff like that. I mean, why not? Give it a shot, see if it works. I don't have any on me right now. All I have are paint pens. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like only paint pens. But you know, it probably work. I mean, you could try it out, see if it works for you. Uh, but I would recommend paint pens for this. I think that would be best. And you know what would actually be cool? We're gonna we're gonna do more of these. Maybe we should paint the truck, like a like an old worn out truck. You know, do a bunch of tags on it. I think I think that'd be a lot of fun. Maybe we can use like a wash or something so the lines kind of show up behind it. I think that'd be pretty chill. I think that'd be pretty pretty chill. But anyways, let's move on to the bricks. Let's uh, let's rock these bricks over here. Let's uh, let's move this out of the way. All right, guys. <clears throat> So we got a bunch of these brick walls in, and I think they call them like mini walls or mini bricks or something like that. I forgot what they're called, but we have these ones. They're uh, seven by 11 inches or 17.78 centimeters by 27.94 centimeters. We have these little half walls are three by 3.5 by 11 or 8.89 centimeters by 27.94 centimeters. So the same width, uh, it looks like they're just cut in half basically, which is cool. So you have a miniature version or a full size one right here. As you can see, I've been testing it with a few different markers. Um, this looks like a uh, deco color yellow. I think so. I think that was the yellow deco. And uh, actually this is all deco except for some liquid chrome right there, which is pretty chill. And uh, no base coat, just straight up on the wall just to see how it would write. And uh, am I cropping this off? Sorry about that. <clears throat> There we go. Anyways, no base coat, just rocking it, seeing how it is. And uh, I gotta say, I like it quite a bit. And this right here, what are we using here? This is the Iron Lack Fluid. What is this? Frazetta, Frazetta. And uh, I already started this. Now, a little bird told me that we might not have these mini walls on the site yet. We have the bigger ones on the site. We might not have these on the site yet, but I already started filming with this, so. 
we're just gonna have to kind of roll with it, you know what I'm saying? So if, if it's not on the site now, it will be soon. That is for sure. Let's go ahead and fill this in. But you know what, it, it doesn't matter. You get the picture, you see what I'm doing. If we don't have these, just get these. The big ones are really dope too. Here they are right here. This is the packaging that they come with. So you get a full wall, ready to rock. And yes, they do come in gray as well. Check that out. We've got some gray ones as well. So you can rock your rock your piece on that bad boy. Do whatever it is you need to do. Uh, but anyways, oh, did I prime this? Shake your cans, prime your nibs, be a boss, do your thing. All right. All right we're hitting up the homie Retti. Retti. The homie Retti. He wanted to hit off. I write Retti, Retti, because I'm at the Retti. Rockin' like a macachine, ding, 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 ding. Ready, 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 ready. I'm just gonna do a quick little kind of dirty fill here. Get this going. I could do a better job, I guess. But what do I know? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> All right. So if you fill it in a little bit more cleanly, I think you'll get a better a better line. So why don't we do that? I'll slowly do it like that. See, that's much better. You gotta be more patient, GR. I know, I know. You know, it's just it's just about getting an idea of how this works. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what it's all about. I just want you to see how it works. This ain't about me, it's about you. It's all about you. You in the crew. It's all about you. You in the crew. That's right, homie. It's all about you. You in the crew. It's all about you. Making these videos all about you. Doom, 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 doom. All right, let's take a look at that. Okay, we got the fill done, but we need to let it dry. Let me see if this uh, blow dryer is plugged in. It's not plugged in, I don't think it is. Hold on one second, let's see. Now these, uh, these water-based inks, they will dry much faster if you use a, a blow dryer on them. So definitely do that. Definitely helps out quite a bit. I wouldn't recommend hot air, just because it might, it might make the paper curl. Like it, it, it'll, it'll cause it to shrink and curl a little too quickly. So maybe just try cooler or just the cold air, if you will. It still dries pretty quickly. Let's see here. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much set up already. Why don't we put another coat, right? Why don't we put another coat on here? Might as well, right? Oh yeah, that felt good. Now it's nice and opaque, look at that. Rocking it with the Retti. Big Retti on the scene. Crispy and clean, laying lean like a machine. Big Retti, no sweaty. Got a half mil in the bank, no sweaty. Got a breezy on my back. No get... <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Uh, I hope you're doing good out there, Reddy. I hope you're doing good. Reddy, Reddy, big Reddy. Okay, sweaty Reddy. All right, let's take a look at that. Oh yeah, much more opaque. Let's take that blow dryer to it and move on to the next step. And again, that is the Iron Lac, Iron Lac Fluid Frazetta. I really like this stuff. It's really cool stuff. Works really good, not bad for the price. All right, where's my Molotov marker? Oh, there we go. Okay, so this Molotov marker is loaded with Iron Lac fluid. See, I'm I'm mixing it up. I got some Molotov, I got some Iron Lac, uh, I got some OJ, some purple stuff. Got a little bit of everything. Oh, you know, I should have outlined this with the deco color, actually. Oh, well, what are you gonna do, huh? What, what are you gonna do? Sue me? Someone's gonna sue me about something, watch. But you said, I didn't say nothing. You assume your own risk. All right, you know, here's the thing. 
I had a kid who got he got upset because um, he opened up a mop and it, it spilled all over his carpet. And I was like, you know, he's mad at me about it. And I'm like, well, what are you doing opening a mop over your carpet? Like, go outside. <laughs> it's like, I can't control your activity. I can't, like, I can't, I can't go to your house and be like, okay, make sure you don't open that over your carpet. Like, be careful. I have to trust that you'll take care of yourself. Like I said, if you're my kid, uh, you don't you don't stay inside. I'm locking you out of the house. Me and mom, we want to be alone. Get out of here. <laughs> free range children, right? That's that's what I was. I was a free range child, left to fend for myself. Yeah, we figured it out. We did. We did. All right, so let's go ahead and get this E here. Damn, those helicopter parents, they're, they're ruining those kids' lives, man. They really are. They really are. Those kids, they got to they gotta make their own way in the world. Like, how, how are they going to function when they get into the working world? You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they become adults and then... You know, they, they, they end up in like some office somewhere and they expect everyone to treat them like their their parents, you know, and then they're like, like, we don't care who you are. Are you doing the job or what? <laughs> like, but what about my feelings? Sorry, sport. This is the adult world. Get to work. <laughs> I'm just kidding, kids. You'll be fine. I really like this pink. This uh, was this Molotov neon pink with the uh, with the Frazetta. That's a good. That's a good one, right? It's total like Miami Vice. <clears throat> Remember Miami Mice? That was cool. I had that shirt when I was a kid. Oh wow, I like that quite a bit. I think I definitely want to rock that in the future. This is a great. This is great. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like that quite a bit. Make sure you prime your nibs, GR. Make sure you prime your nibs. It's not prime rib, it's prime nibs. Mmm, prime rib. Yo, they're trying to make us eat bugs now. Did you hear about that? They're trying to they're trying to convince people to eat bugs. <laughs> can't, you, you can't fool me, homie. I eat no damn bugs. <laughs> I bet when I was 20 I'd probably think that was so like futuristic and cool. Uh, pretty soon it'd be soylent green. Just watch. <laughs> First bugs and Soylent Green. <laughs> it's people. Remember that shit? Probably a little bit before you guys' time. Uh, anyways, it looks like my outline color is still a little bit wet. You see it reacting right there. So let's just let this dry. Uh, I'm gonna come back in the morning. It's the end of the day here. I'm actually really tired. I started this video really, really tired. Um, but I'll, I'll be back in the morning, bright eyed and bushy tailed, and, uh, we'll, we'll finish up with these. We'll, we'll play around with these a little bit more. I think they're a lot of cool. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Time travelers. I will see you. I'll see you when I see you. Peace. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, what is up guys? How you guys doing out there today? I hope you're having a good one. This is part two of the video and we are about to get into it. Uh, this is actually the day after yesterday. Uh, I came in yesterday and the power was turned off. I guess they had some issues with the transformers in the hood. Uh, it, was, uh, it looks like uh, Beetlejuice. I was going to say Beetlejuice. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't even remember the transformer names. What was the Volkswagen Beetle guy's name? I don't remember. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. <laughs> Beetlejuice is a movie with Michael Keaton, I think. <laughs> I could be wrong about that one too. Although I did really enjoy Beetlejuice. That was it. We should do a Beetlejuice piece. I think we should. Also a character on Howard Stern. Good for you. Good for you. 
Uh, anyways, so where did we leave off when I had a total brain fart? Um, so I came in on Saturday and I couldn't work because I couldn't turn the lights on. So, you know, without light, you can't see. And, uh, you know, how are we going to do this without light, right? It's quite a miracle. It is. But I went ahead and did some drawing anyways, because I just kind of felt like it. Um, I kind of worked out some stuff. I sketched out this little Ming, uh, Ming character and I was trying to find the right shade in this sublime green really does it for me. Look at that. It's like the perfect shade. I think it's a perfect shade for that. So we'll rock, we'll, maybe we'll rock a little bit of it. A little, a little, a little. <clears throat> so maybe we'll rock a little bit of that today. Um, and also I wanted to take a look at this. This was that, what was this we used? We did this, right? This was the uh, Frazetta. Look how even it came out. I'm actually very, very happy with it. it. Dries very quickly. You know, those acrylics, they dry very, very quick. Very, very even. Uh, this is a Sublime too. Sup dog, sup dog. Uh, I think I used a uh, sublime green and I used this brown PX 20 marker to do like my 3d highlights. And I really like doing these kind of cocoa browns with the, the lime greens. I think they, they hit off each other really, really nicely with the peach outline, especially too. This is a color combo. You don't see very often, you know, using the browns with the pink and the, um, the green like that. It looks really, really good together. And uh, I outlined it with fluid, of course. I'm using fluid for pretty much everything. So I got fluid in this marker right here. I got fluid in this marker right here. This is a Sublime Green and a Molotov 211EM pump liner. Now, if you've never used one of these before, let me show you a little trick to priming these bad boys. Let's see if this is showing up here. Let me, let me line up my shot here. Oh yeah, there we go. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> my iPhone's my monitor. So these nibs are very soft. If you can see right here, they're very delicate. So what they do is they provide a provision right here where you can just pump the nib into the cap and get your uh, tip, get your tip all wet, if you will. Uh, and as you can see, these markers are excellent for doing cutbacks on stuff. You get a very, very nice clean line. And I do rather enjoy using these quite a bit, these little chisel bad boys. They work really good. They work really, really good. I'll put the I'll put a link for these and these, of course, and these in the video. Um, but anyways, so bottom line, the brick walls work really good with the uh, iron-like inks. Very, very happy with them. And uh, I've been using the deco colors on the canvas. Now, there's no reason why I chose one over the other. It just happened to be how it worked out in this situation. Uh, you can definitely use either or. If you want to use deco colors on here, that's totally fine. If you want to use the iron lac uh, fluid on here with a Molotov marker. See, I, I use everything. I'm not, I'm not married to one brand. I like it all. Um, you could even use the magic ink markers on these as well too. Uh, this isn't really supposed to be this color, but let's just fill it in just for, for uh, shits and giggles here. Should be like marker light colors. But you know, these are oil-based uh, like graphic style markers, if you will, you know, traditional magic markers. So they're gonna be a little bit on the transparent side, but I think that actually works pretty good if you're trying to do something that's, you know, more of like the background. Like if I had like a nice gray, gray marker, I think would be good to color all this in. So the truck actually, you know, looks like a panel truck, but I don't think I have a gray. So we'll, we'll, we'll play with that in a future video. Anyways, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's see, what do we got here? Let's, let's put some shines on this. Now, one thing I noticed, it's been two days. It's, oh, snap. <laughs> Can I get it off? Can I get it off? Ah, poopy, poopy, scoopy. Thankfully it's mostly dry. Look at that. came right off. Whew. Got lucky on that one. Be careful, GR. Got to over prime the nib on that bad boy. Anyways, so the one thing about the deco colors is they are very opaque, but they do take forever to dry because they're that type of oil enamel paint. And um, it still feels a little bit on the sticky side. So that's kind of a, that's kind of the thing you have to deal with with these, but nevertheless, they are very nice to work with. And um, the one for all, the white one for all goes right over it beautifully. Beautiful. Let's rock a couple little shines in this bad boy. <clears throat> now hopefully, hopefully everything goes good today. My wife made a, a green smoothie for breakfast. 
I don't know if she was like half awake or what, but she made like a whole pitcher, like a gigantic, like a uh, blender pitcher full. Usually, you know, each of us will have like a cup, but you know me, I don't like to waste food. So I was like, okay, I'll eat it for lunch. So I think I've probably consumed about 64 ounces of green smoothie today. And uh, I'm, a little, I'm a little worried about it kicking in at the worst moment ever. So if I have to stop, I apologize. It's just uh, biological impulses, if you will. Uh, <laughs> you know, she's keeping me healthy. She's keeping those pipes moving. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta keep the pipes moving. <laughs> it's very important that you do that. You know, remember, remember that whole urban legend about John Wayne um, <clears throat> when they autopsied him and he had like 40 pounds of meat in his colon. I mean, I don't, I don't know if there's any truth to that, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> I, I don't want any rumors like that about me. All right. <laughs> Although I do like meat. I, I could never be vegetarian. Sorry guys. Couldn't do it. Um, <clears throat> all right. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We have some beautiful shines here with the Molotov One For All, and that's One For All paint in that marker, by the way. I really like these whites. They work really, really good. Anyways, we're not doing Mandrake today. We're doing, uh, <clears throat> we're doing Ming. Ming the Merciless. All right, let's go ahead and just draw a little line over here. Draw a little line over there. Nice. Can I hit over that? Can I hit over that? Oh yeah, perfect. It had set beautifully. All right, guys. I think it's looking really good. Um, I feel like the green is still a little wet and I don't have the blow dryer. So I'm a little hesitant to like cut back over it right now because I don't want it to bleed over like that white did. Let me see that white really quick. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You don't want a blowout, homie. You definitely don't want a blowout. Let me see, let me see. Let me try it this way. Sometimes it helps if you upside down it, right? You guys ever do that? Just turn your artwork upside down? really need that one mil. That's, that's what I need is the one mil. But we got this homie. I got it. You got it. We got this together. We're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen player. All right. Okay. And the eyebrows, do a little eyebrow action here. Mm-hmm. I think I need glasses too. That's the other thing. It used to be I could get like super close to the artwork, you know? Uh, but now it's like, kind of makes me nervous cause like my eyes get all blurry. I'm getting old, dude. <laughs> I'm getting old. Uh, what was that blue? I just don't think I have that blue. Whatever that blue was. What was that blue that I used? What about this one? Maybe it was this. Hey, I think that's the one. Nice. That is the one. Oh yeah, I was also thinking about doing a golden axe. A golden axe train. I thought that would be pretty cool. We should do that. That'll be that'll be the next one. We'll do golden axe. You know, when I say this, people always think, oh, the next video. Um I'm always filming like three or four videos at a time and I don't know which one I'm going to launch when I launch it. It's there's really no order uh, because I, I grew up my whole life about being about disorder. So it kind of just falls into these videos as well, too, I guess. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> the beautiful chaos, I guess. The beautiful chaos. That's what it is. Um, but I think, I think in a future video, I want to color the trucks. Like kind of weather them, maybe. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll use a, uh, a graphic marker for that. Because those are semi-transparent. It'll give us that look that we're looking for. Uh, but I just don't happen to have that today. And I just wanted to see, you know, this is just, this is just to see how these write, how they look. Um, you know, and I gotta say, it works pretty good. It's actually not bad. It takes the paint, if you will. It takes the paint rather nicely. I think this weekend I'm gonna watch that old uh, Flash Gordon. <laughs> Uh, there's a scene, there's this scene, I remember this scene from the movie where like Flash is fighting like Ming's dudes in like the, um, in like Ming's like castle or whatever. And like Ming keeps sending like these groups of guys to come beat up Flash. And like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and I forget what it was, but it was like, he was like playing football. Like they had somehow someone in the, in the production of the movie were like, hey, let's make it where Flash is like playing football with like Ming's like, like minions <laughs> and so he's like running around and like tackling all these dudes and like he's like hut hut hike and it's like i mean you know it's it's a fantasy world you can make it whatever you want but it's just like i'm not really believing that homie i'm sorry i don't think flash is gonna be playing football with me okay i just i just don't see it but you know it worked it worked it did work so i'll give him that it made me laugh I'm talking about it right now and uh i guess i guess it worked <laughs> Uh, but it's just so American. It's just like such an American thing to do. It's like burger people, you know? We're... Pretty soon, like, Ming will be, like, eating a hamburger from McDonald's, you know? <laughs> it's like some shit. <laughs> you know, Euro European people always make fun of us for our fast food. But I gotta tell you, man, every time I've been to Europe, every time I've been to Asia, uh, any of those places, um, those fast food places, they are not hurting for business. I'll tell you what. And it's not American tourists that are in there. So don't front. Don't front to us, Frenchies. I know you like your Royales. I know you do. I've seen you eating them. All right. <laughs> Speaking of movies, it's like Pulp Fiction, right? There you go. A Royale with cheese. That was a good movie, too. We should do a Pulp Fiction wall. I think that's a good idea. We could rock something like that. You know, I'm going to be like Mr. Unpopular, but I know that was like Quentin Tarantino's, like, his, like, I don't want to say sellout, because it was a beautiful work of art, you know? Um... But, you know, it's like the movie that, like, people who don't really, like, follow Tarantino, they're like, oh, I, I really like that movie, you know? But I honestly think it was his best movie. And honestly, I don't like a lot of his movies. This may blow your mind, but sometimes I just think it's just kind of gratuitous violence. And I know some people are like, well, that's the whole point of it. And it's like, yeah, well... There's a lot of point of it. You don't think I don't get that. You know, it's like, of course, I understand that's the point, but it's it, it just boring to me. It's like pornography, you know, it's just boring. It's like, okay, yeah. What can you shove in your orifice this time? Cool. <laughs> uh, you know what doesn't bore me is making these videos. That's for sure. <clears throat> That does not bore me whatsoever. All right, and you know, I just like seeing the markers and how they write, how they flow, and uh, they work pretty good with each other, don't they? I think they do. All right, I'm using, what is this? This is Molotov 117, no, yeah, 117, Peach Pastel. And this is the color I used on the Sup Dog. Same color as Sup Dog. And it seems to work pretty nice. It's a very nice peach color. All right, don't be smearing on Ming with your left hand there, Green Ranger. That's another reason why I like to flip my stuff upside down because I'm left-handed. I don't know if any other left-handed people, they feel my pain. We are, uh, we are uh, oppressed in a right-handed person's world. 
tell you what. <laughs> All these right-handed people, man. Writing their language from the left to the right. It does make it harder though. But you know what I do? I adapt. I adapt and work within it. That's what I do. I figure out a way to work with. You know what I mean? Maybe I should lobby to make everyone write English the other direction for us. That's what I'll do. <laughs> All right. There are some languages that go from right to left though, right? Uh, what is it? Um, was it Arabic Shifa, I think does? Correct me if I'm wrong, I might be wrong. But I'm pretty sure it goes from right to left. I think it does. The Arabic calligraphy is really beautiful. I really like the look of that style already. Big fan, big fan, definitely. Um, all right. You know, and it's kind of like out of my league. Like I just, I'm just not really a calligraphy guy. Like I was like a tagger kid, you know? Like all these like professional artists that do graffiti now, you know what I'm talking about? Like they, they were never taggers, but you know, they're like, you know, they're like, oh, I'm a graffiti artist, you know? And I welcome them. I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm down, you know? But when I was a kid, oh, that peach is still wet. When I was a kid, nobody wrote graffiti. That just, like, you had to be a real weirdo to write graffiti. It was not popular. <laughs> People thought you had, like, an issue. Like, and you did. Like, most writers back then, they were, I, I want to say they, they had, like, OCD issues, uh, autism, various, various things going on. <laughs> But, you know, often undiagnosed because they just didn't know back then. <laughs> they did. They definitely did. Man, I, I got to tell you, I'm really enjoying this canvas. I'm really digging this canvas. All right, let's see here. Oh, damn, that thing is wet. Easy there. Don't blow your load on there, homie. All right, well, I guess I'll just have to wait for that. Poopy, poopy, poopy. Scoopy, poopy. All right, so I'll have to go back to that later once it dries. But you know, I think we get the picture. I think we get the picture, okay? Basically, you can use like any paint pen on these. They work really good. And, uh, oh, you know what? I think this is probably dry. It's probably dry. We can mess with this. While that dries, we can, uh, oh yeah, and then we're gonna put some more green over there. Oh, I had all this stuff. All this stuff on deck that I totally forgot about. Yeah, see, this is already dry. Look at that. The second coat made all the difference in the world. Beautiful. Look at that. Boom. Make sure it's primed. Get your prime going, baby. There we go. Man, I love this marker. This is such a cool marker. You gotta, you really gotta, you really gotta commend Molotov for their ingenuity. Um, their distribution is severely lacking in the U.S. I mean, they could be really huge if they worked with us better. I mean, they, it's just what it boils down to. Like I said, no one ever listens to me, even though I have all the right ideas. <laughs> What do I know? What do I know? Anyways, let's go ahead and get that going. That's beautiful. All right, let's uh, let's outline this bad boy. Let's use this again. This is the fluid in black. This nib is already starting to get a little bit, a little bit thick. Which means it'll be perfect for this throwy. See, left-handed, right there, left-handed. 
That's why I gotta like train myself to work from right to left. <laughs> Always do shit like that. <laughs> but you know, it's like ingrained in my head to go from left to right, you know, cause that's how you do it, you know? But then I forget and then I smear, like, but you know what, here's the cool thing. Happy mistakes, look at that. No one will ever know, only you guys will know. Only you guys will know. Look at that, boom, now it's 3D, right? <laughs> Uh, all right, let's try this again. Boom. I gotta tell you, these are very smooth. They're working really good. Boom. I am enjoying this quite a bit. Let's just do the little line, huh? Let's just do the little line. Perfect. Look at that. Lays down beautifully. There's that iron-like fluid. Soviet red. It's a beautiful shade of red. Boom, right over that. Like it ain't no thing. It really, Cause it ain't, it ain't no thing. Uh, oh yeah, we got a little bit of a, little bit of a 3D right there. Perfect. I could write with this all day long. Did I mention this is $3.95 a bottle? $3.95, cheap. Okay, so we've tried fluid on the bricks. We've tried a little bit of everything on the canvas and it worked really good. I'm very happy with it. Um, you know, we got Sup Dog right here, which I painted off camera, unfortunately. But, but you can see this is the, uh, what is this? This is the, uh, Oh, sorry, is this off camera? Hold on. Ugh. Sorry, my head cam was slipping off there. Anyways, so this was the Sublime Green. And uh, let's see if we can get nice and close. Look at the, uh, look at how smooth it is. You see, you see that? It's very, very smooth. That's the stuff right here. Not bad. Very, very happy with it. Uh, also, I have a slap here. I was kind of messing around with some slaps. We had some, uh, whatchamacallit, somebody had, something happened to these eggshells. They got wet, so they're all kind of wrinkled and stuff. So I can't really, can't really sell them, you know? So I just kind of put them for free in people's orders. Check out this sup dog tag. So I've been kind of just tagging on them, off and on. Now, if you're just doing a tag, the black deco is a great marker to use. It just lays down very, very nicely. I don't think you'll be disappointed whatsoever. Does everything you need it to do. If you just want to do a single color, can't go wrong with these bad boys. Let me get nice and close here with the, I keep forgetting that these head cams, the uh, GoPros, they, they focus pretty close. All right. Yeah. The decos do very, very nice on these stickers. And uh, the black, tends to hold up the best. That's what I would say. Some of the deco color colors will fade a bit, like this green will, you know, kind of turn a little bit, a little bit white over time. So just be conscious of that. But you know, it just kind of depends on what you're doing, you know? You know, if you're just putting this like in your black book or whatever, cause you know, people do that too. You know, they're just making art stickers, you know? And it, it's one of these things that I just, I didn't even realize like 10 years ago when people are like, oh, slaps are gonna be super hot. Uh, and back then, I remember a, a very famous graffiti writer, I won't say his name, uh, but he used to make fun of people for doing slaps. And uh, I remember one time he said something about throw, people doing throw ups and pieces on slaps and how he, how he didn't like, didn't particularly care for that. And now he's very famous for doing stickers. <laughs> But you know, we, that's, it happens when you age, you know, you, you, you start to become more open to different things or maybe not, depends I guess on the person. Uh, but you know, we do change. We all change, that is for sure. <laughs> Look at me, I'm still 12 years old writing ass like a little kid. <laughs> You know, it's funny because I wasn't even like thinking of ass. Uh, 
I was watching some like philosophy video and they were talking about like, I don't know, somehow they got into like the 10 commandments in this philosophy video. And they were talking about how don't covet a man's ass, <laughs> but it means donkey, you know, like, <laughs> like don't, don't covet his car or whatever, you know, but it just made me laugh. Cause like, oh, man, don't covet my ass, homie. That's a beautiful ass. Ah, uh, anyways. But they work great on these stickers. Bottom line. Oh, it's still wet. Ooh. Snap. Got all smeared. Oh, well. It's all good. Uh, but anyways, I think we've tried out enough markers. We got to see how they write, what they look like. Mean came out pretty good. Does anybody want this? If anybody wants it, I'll, I'll do some hit-offs. Just comment below. I'll send it to you. You can have this. Maybe I'll give it away in my giveaway. That's what I'll do. I'm going to do a giveaway. I just hit 20K on, on Instagram. Maybe I'll just give this away. That's what I'll do. I'll give this away too. Sup, dog. Reti is for a kid. He needs to hit me up though. That's for sure. But anyways, I think, I think we got a very good understanding of how these inks work, how the markers write, all this good stuff right here. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> But bottom line is I like the fluid. I really do. Oh, I was going to use this yellow. I wanted to see how the yellow wrote. We'll do that in a future video. We'll, we'll do that again soon. Uh, but I will say this, the fluid works really good with your pump action markers. I'm really enjoying it in the Molotov marker. Actually, it worked pretty good. Um, the 111 series. So for those who don't know, it's the same as the 127 markers as well. These uh, 223 soft liners are the same as the 227 markers. The only difference is the nib and cap combination. In fact, I think it's only the nib. That's This is all the same as the 227. The only difference is the nib and the cap. That's the only difference. Genius. These guys at Molotovs are genius, genius, genius guys. And of course I used an Art Primo Hit and Go, one of my favorite little markers here. Uh, this is actually what I use for tagging on customers' boxes. And uh, I like it when they start to get all worn in. Look at that nib, see it's all kind of frayed out right there. They just have, they make a really nice line. Is that even showing up? I don't even know if that's showing up. Let me see here, let me try it here. It's just a great tagging marker. It's like perfect size. Let's see, let's see. Where's my uh, my handy dandy measuring tool? So it's like half a quarter, like half a quarter. It's not bad, beautiful. And this is a OTR flow pin ink. It's my go-to for tagging boxes. It just flows so nicely. Uh, but anyways, I think, uh, I think that's it for today. I think it's about time that I replace my brick base here. Look at this, oh, what a mess. And, um, but I don't know, I think that was a lot of fun. So why don't we go ahead and go to the closeout and uh, I'll chat a little bit about these markers a little bit more. And I just wanna say thank you for watching. Uh, I learned a lot today. I'm, I'm glad I got to try these markers out and hopefully you did too. Hopefully you had some fun. Holy crap, I'm on 39 minutes. I better edit this down. <laughs> I remember some British guy hit me up one time. He's like, he's like, oi, you really prattle on, don't you? I was like, I guess. <laughs> just trying to fill up airtime, man. I'm just trying to fill up airtime. Maybe I should do a podcast. But see, the thing is, is like, everyone's like, oh, you got to do a graffiti podcast. And I'm like, that'd be so boring to me. I know that sounds crazy, but it would just be so boring. I'd rather talk about like current events and have like weird guests. Like, I don't know. Some like weird, like crystal lady, you know, like, you know, <laughs> there's, there's this weird cult in Olympia where this lady, her name is like Zohar or something like that. And she has like a crystal room and like people pay her like millions of dollars to be part of her cult. Like that'd be kind of interesting. I, I want to hear her talk. She, apparently she's the reincarnation of like a 2000 year old Mongolian warrior. Like <laughs> that sounds interesting to me. <laughs> oh, like Howard Stern, you know, he would just have like all these crazy people on and they would just talk and he just let him talk and he'd be like, oh, hey, what's up? You know, I love that stuff. I love that stuff. Uh, anyways, but that's it. Let's go to the closeout. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. I've made some additions 
uh, to this bad boy. Let me, let me talk a little bit about this real quick. All right, so I used, uh, this is a deco color, the hot purple. This is hot purple right here. Yep, hot purple. I remember, fluorescent uh, pink in the Molotov marker. Uh, a little bit on that, and then uh, I cut back a little bit with that blue. That's the Molotov marker. Which one is that? That is, oh, Butterfingers over here. Hold on a second. <clears throat> what is this? Shock blue middle. That doesn't look like shock blue. I think I custom mixed that with something else. That might be something else going on there. But anyways, also, these aren't available anymore, but it's just a graphic marker like so many others. I use this graphic marker to kind of give a little bit of dimension to the truck. You can see I used it on the wheels right there, and I did it on the ground. I guess what you would call the ground here. Um, I want to do a couple different layers. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit on the... Uh, it's going to have the texture of the marker, you know, on a canvas. But I don't know. I think you use that to your advantage. You know, kind of start from dark and get the light and it kind of builds some texture on the roadway here. But you know, you can do this with any kind of graphic marker, uh, you know, Copic, style file, which you guys know I really like, you know, cause they're kind of the underdog, you know, like a lot of people don't even really know about style file, but they're kind of good. I like them. They're good guys, good people. Uh, let's see, what is this Copic marker? What is this? Anise, Anise, I had an aunt named Anise. Let's paint this deli with this. It's a good color for a deli. What do you guys think? I think so too. I mean, you know, if you're just making like a piece of art for somebody, like this isn't like, this isn't gonna hang in the uh, Museum of Modern Art, Modern Art, obviously. I mean, maybe, doubt it. <laughs> if you're just making something to be nice for somebody, I mean, why not? Just covering some area here. I think after you clear coat it, it'll probably lock it in pretty good. <clears throat> the thing I like about these kind of markers too is when you gotta fill in a lot of area, they kind of lay down pretty quick, you know? Oh, that's that's the one drawback to these alcohol markers though. You gotta make sure you don't hit, if you hit that one for all too hard, uh, especially on a surface like this that's not paper, you know, on the paper, it's a little bit better because it kind of soaks in a bit. But on here, whoo, you gotta be careful because it will reactivate very easily because it's sitting on top of the surface as opposed to soaking in a bit with the paper. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> Nevertheless, um, let's see if I can kind of work around this here. Doom, 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 doom. That's a good color for a deli. And, you know, and this will help the truck kind of stand off from the background too, which is good. Give it a little bit of separation, you know? Gotta keep them separated. Oh, I hated that song when it came out. <laughs> them and Green, actually, I liked Green Day's first album when I was a kid. When they had it in the, uh, uh, who did Neil Blender skate for? What was that video? Oh, I don't even remember. It was the Useless Wooden Toys video. That's, that's, I remember the name of the video. Blockhead. There we go, Blockhead Skateboards. I'm pretty sure it was the Blockhead Skateboarders video. They had that Green Day song on it. Well, now looking at me, tell me what do you see? And you do your head and turn away. Oh, they became like the worst band though. That's for me, like when people are like, oh, I was like punk rock back in the day. I was like, oh, cool, what era? You know, like 99, I listened to Green Day, bro. It's like, oh, dude, punk was already dead by then. <laughs> Sorry, homie. You were, on the, you were on the dying corpse of punk. That's what you were on. No offense. I mean, but that's the way it is. It's just the way it is, man. Punk was a lot different. Uh, all right, let's see here. All right, let's see, let's see. All right, so we got the deli, we got the sign. 
Uh, what else do we need to do? What else do we need? We got some buildings over there. Look at that little skyline. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, we should paint that other building a different color though, right? See, I, I need like a gray, like a dark gray color, but I ain't got that on me. Oh, gee, oh, you work in a warehouse, don't you? Have I'm like, I, I try not to get too high in my own supply, you feel me? Um, I guess I'm just going to utilize this some more. Just kind of weather, weather the top a little bit. I just use what's in front of me. Oftentimes, I'm just kind of grabbing stuff out of the, uh, the damages pile. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I try not to get too high off our supply, man. I really do. I'm respectful of that. Um, you know what? Let's just fill that in. There we go. Perfect. That'll do. Nice. All right, let's take a look at this. Okay, it's all coming together. Now this under here needs some kind of shadowing, but I, I feel like I need like a lighter gray and I just don't have that. I just don't think I have that here. Oh, what to do, what to do when you're down with the crew. Ooh, 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 ooh. What to do, what to do when you're down with the crew. That's right, that's right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Actually, let's do this. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. We'll just put this right here. Works for me. Works for me, homie. Works for me. And then this will be like the alley right here. I'm from the alley, not the valley. You guys know that? I'm from the alley, not the valley. I was Big L. All right, let's see here. What do we have here, my friends? My friends. Ooh, I like this one. This is a good one. I don't even know if it's picking up the music, though. But I can tell you I really like this one. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's see where we're at, guys. Let's see where we're at. Where did I put my black? You blowing it, GR. I know. I'm always blowing it. It's like my MO. You know, you just got to wing it sometimes, guys. You just got to wing it. That's how it works. All right, let's see here. There, we just want to give a little bit more definition on here. All right, all right, let's see here, let's see here. Ooh, I like that, that looks really good. Look at that. I think we're done with this. Oh, <laughs> what's, what's going on here? <laughs> Did I just like straight up forget that part of the sky? That marker's dry. That's not going to work. All right, let's try this again. There we go. How the heck did you miss that, GR? I know, I know. I'm fired, guys. Just fire me. You guys should just fire me. <laughs> you need to put this guy to pasture, homie. I know, I know. Put me to pasture. Uh, I'll open a, I'll open an Irish pub in Key West. It'll be very popular with Croatian tourists. <laughs> All right. Yo, Croatia's tight, man. My homie's sister has a yacht there. Like all rich Europeans. I should just move there. Screw it. Oh wait, they don't have a second amendment. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, liberal land. There's a, there, my buddy told me about liberal land. Uh, in between, it's like in between Croatia and, uh, where is it? Or is it, is it off Croatia? Someone, someone, uh, someone correct me, but there's like a, there's like a, I don't want to say contested, but it's like a, it was like a demilitarized land. And some guy like started a country in Europe and they call it liberal land. 
and uh, I guess they're kind of their own thing. Sounds pretty tight. Kind of want to live there. I wonder if the, you can get uh, recreational nuclear weapons in liberal land. <laughs> hey, it's not truly free unless you have recreational nukes, right? <laughs> Right now some parents are like, why are you watching this guy? I know, I know, I didn't say I was perfect, but I like to joke around. See guys, this is the thing called humor. We joke around about stuff. Uh, we, we deal in hyperbole, we deal with uh, funny scenarios that aren't realistic, you know. Um, sometimes it's at the expense of certain people. Uh, we do it to each other, I've been, I've been the butt of jokes in the past. In fact, I make fun of myself on here all the time. That is the beauty of humor. Um, and if you're a person of good humor, you laugh it off, because that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, anyways, so let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. Ming looks fantastic. Uh, the piece looks great. We got a full background on this. Uh, you know, very basic, but you know, we just want to see how these markers work. I mean, normally I wouldn't use graphic markers on this, but pff, why not? Why not just fill it up with color? and see how it is, you know what I'm saying? Just see how it is. So anyways, what else do we gotta do before we get out of here? Do we have to do anything else? I should film a shorter version of this for the low attention span people like me. You know, I, I won't watch an hour long video. Maybe back in the day when I used to smoke weed, I would watch hour long videos, but not anymore. Uh, you know, I used to really like weed, but it just does not vibe with me anymore. And I still think kids should not smoke that much weed. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta limit that stuff, man. You really do. You know, you see these kids these days, man, popping all kinds of pills and, you know, whatever happened to being in high school, eating some mushrooms and going to the park with your friends? You know, I mean, I'm sure some parents would disapprove of that, but have you seen the crap the kids are doing today? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> Kids, man, you got you got to slow down. You got a long life ahead of you, or you won't, little peep. Yeah, he, he got played, man. The guy got played. It's unfortunate, man. He was actually very talented. A lot of these guys were not talented, but little peep was actually a talented artist, and he was cut way too short, man. Way too short. Uh, for what? For what? This is what I ask. For what? What is it worth? But anyways, um, <clears throat> let's take a look here. So I think. Gio, you're always ranting, homie. I'm, I know, I know. I, th I feel like I need a radio show. I should be on the radio. I do have a face for radio, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> let's take a look. So we've been, okay, so far we've used the iron lac uh, fluid, right? We've used the fluid. Uh, we've used the, uh, what else? We've used uh, deco color markers in this video. Uh, we've used some graphic markers in this video. Uh, what else did we use? Oh yeah, we used some, uh, pen, uh, what are these? What are these? brain fart what are these um uni markers i don't know if we got that on video but we we saw them in use on the sup dog right here uh what else did we use we used oh yeah these guys right here boom the molotov empty pump soft liner now i've been using both of these this and the pointy pointy one you know and it's really funny um when I first saw these, I was initially drawn to the one with the pointy brush tip. I thought that would be my favorite. Uh, but now that I've been using them, the chisel one is actually my favorite because you can do like perfectly sharp cutbacks, uh, but still get very fine lines if you just use the leading edge. You know what I'm saying? Or this, you're just stuck with the brush tip, which is nice. It's very nice, but you can't get the cutbacks like you can with the chisel. So I gotta say, chisel my nizzle. Chisel my nizzle, really is the one. Um, what else? So, okay, so we use the canvas, we've used the bricks, um, and uh, I guess I gotta hit the bricks, homie. I gotta kick rocks. It's time for GR to kick rocks and get out of here. So let's let's just say thank you very much, guys. I, I really appreciate you guys sitting through this video, uh, watching me try out all these markers and all this crap on here. I really enjoy bringing back some of the long form videos. Hopefully I will be in a position to have more time to do more of these for you guys. Um, 
because I feel like we get very comprehensive about how these things work and you guys can see how it is. And it gives me a chance to rant about the world and things going on in my life um, as much as I can on YouTube these days. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching guys. I love you. Remember this is an Art Primo video, artprimo.com, artprimo.com, artprimo.com. We're your number one source for these wonderful graffiti supplies, art supplies, whatever it is you like to do. We made these, homie. These are our product. Five bucks right here. Five dollars for a canvas that you can do graffiti art on, right? Five bucks. You can you can realize your vision for five bucks. Uh, I think these are about the same price. I'll have to double check. I forgot the price of them, but I'll put a link at the, in the, below the video. Uh, be sure to comment if you have any questions, other things you want to see, things you want me to talk about, subjects you want me to paint, uh, whatever it is. Please comment below, subscribe, hit the bell because subscriptions don't matter anymore. You have to hit the bell. Um, get down with the crew. You know what to do. Uh, but GR has to go. He's going to his local watering hole where grown ups go to discuss life, things, and the universe. All right, I love you guys. See you later. Peace.